Everyone, Shiv here! Alright, so when I'm not playing Hearthstone, when I'm not playing Heroes of the Storm, when I'm not playing War Thunder, insert whatever game I'm playing that week, I like to, you know, enjoy the finer things in life. Or more basic things in the, this case. So, I like to fish. Now, when I was a kid, I used to love fishing, you know. My father never really took me fishing. My uncle did, but, you know. Uh, so I did a lot of it by myself, and, you know, I pretty much had to teach myself a lot of the stuff. And, you know, luckily local fishermen were really, really awesome for this. So, they, they, they took the time and helped the kid out. Alright, so, right now, we're playing Fishing Planet. This is actually a really fun game. I was actually kind of surprised about how much fun I was going to have. Alright, so, the idea behind Fishing Planet is catch fish. Alright? But it's not as simple as throw your line out and something's going to bite every single time. There's multiple different types of fishing that can get you different uh, fish. For instance, you know, you've got spin casting, you've got, um, what is the other one? Uh, you just got regular casting, you got bobber, a whole bunch, a slew of different things, right? So, it's actually a pretty legit game, and uh, it's got a lot of realistic um, aspects to it, like, you know, uh, certain mechanics of um, jig casting, which right now that's exactly what we're doing. So, we're going to basically try to uh, get ourselves a largemouth bass. Now, largemouth bass is a predatory fish. They generally hang out over by, you know, cattails and things of that nature. So what we're going to try to do is lure it out. Now, we're using a, we're trying to use a technique, which for some odd reason keeps coming out straight and slow, which is not accurate, but whatever, um, called the lift and go. probably one of the better ones. Unfortunately, we are under cloudy skies right now. Ah, there we go. Lift and drop. Lift and drop. Under cloudy skies, first thing in the morning is generally a bad thing for uh, cloudy skies. You really want to go more to noon, so let's just advance seven hours. All right, there we go. So we're going to aim right about there. Oh, we got a good chunk on that one. All right. You let the, the jig drop all the way to the bottom. Now, for me, I like doing it a very specific way, which is basically kind of like this. Just trying to. There we go. A little too high up on the water. We're basically just trying to bounce it off that bottom. There we go. The lift and drop. It's kind of a shitty lift and drop, to be perfectly honest with you. Ah, and we got one. Game can be very, very forgiving. Alright, so we got ourselves a 1.8er. Alright, so we'll keep that. Uh, basically, what the setup we're using uh, for the level, which, by the way, we are level 8. Um, I haven't really been like trying to buy new gear, testing things out, this, that, and the other. Because, you know, if it ain't broke, why fix it? So, right now, we're just catching what we can catch. And... Uh, experience and money wise, the largemouth bass in Missouri is probably the best way of advancing in this game. And we got another one. Yay, lift and drop. Oh wow, he's giving a lot of fight. Come on. 
don't know. I'm going to yank your ass back all the way. Nope, you can get your ass over here. All right, almost two pounder there. So, yeah, it is kind of easy. Once you understand the mechanics of how it works, you can just basically fish for till you hit your limit, which, you know, is pretty much determined by your fish holder, which we'll be covering some stuff here in a second. I just want to see if I can get a third one. All right. Now, much like real fish fishing, you can catch your stuff on uh, underwater things and really snag it up. Now, depending on the type of line you're using, you can sometimes like break away very easily without losing everything. Um, oh, wow, two pounder right there. Nice. And that's kind of cool. All right, so nice little three for three there. Let's get into some of the mechanics of it. Now, as you see, when we catch a fish, it's worth a certain amount of XP, and you get rewards for it. Pretty nice. You know, difference of 0.1 is like $2, all right? Seriously. Uh, but this is just on largemouth bass. As you get to other areas and whatnot, you'll get more XP, more money for those fish. Uh, the game does have what's known as trophy fish. These are worth a lot. As a matter of fact, it gives you gold. Gold is the premium currency in this game. It allows you to buy some really nifty stuff, and we're going to go ahead and cover that right now, because if you get into this game and you want to advance pretty fucking quickly, I'm going to tell you what you probably need to spend some money on, and that is the brass jig quarter ounce number two. This is your farming pay to win jig. Seriously. This is what I'm using right now and I'm just <coughs> large mouth bass. I am making money hand over fist because of it. All right. And it's also grinding me up experience. I mean, I literally went up four levels in one day once I started using this jig without ever having to leave Missouri. Yeah. All right. Now, a couple other things we I'm going to also cover in here. Uh, tools and equipment. Now, right now, it only shows this fishing hut keeper, which, you know, is actually not bad. It's, you know, very nice, but has very low durability. Eventually will break, so meh. So, what we're going to cover instead is your typical fish holder. Now, fish holders have a certain max weight at, that they can totally hold and max weight per fish. Uh, the one we're using right now is like 13 max weight total with, uh, I believe it's three pounds on uh, for max fish, which is perfect for Missouri, to be perfectly honest with you. As you're leveling up now, you will get access to better fish holders, better reels, poles, this, that, and the other, but they're all slightly different in the way that they play, all right? So it's really important that you... Uh, Kind of get a feel for it. Don't expect to like change a reel, change a rod, and automatically have a better setup because it takes a little bit of time getting used to. Also, your lines really affect a lot of things as well. So, yeah. But I like the game. I think it's really, really fun. Uh, it, it uses a lot of real-world mechanics and methodologies behind catching fish and translates them... I'm not going to say accurately, but pretty decently, all right? It is a game after all. Um, obviously, in certain areas, as you progress up, the fish are going to be a little bit harder to catch, but when you catch them, they're going to pay out bigger, and, you know, it'll take some time and effort to do. Now, this is a resource game. You earn money by doing what you're doing in order to pay for your trips. It's a self-sustained economy, right? You can buy into it, though. Let's get to that fun little aspect of this game premium shop all right the premium shop allows you to like you could buy basically subscriptions which gives you you know uber amounts of xp and money gain from what you're doing you could also buy credits in the game uh for like three bucks you get 500 credits that's actually pretty cool um that's actually not horribly bad uh, though I would recommend probably getting either the 
the $6 option or the $15 option. Those are probably going to be your best bet. Uh, gold. Gold you get from basically... Uh, catching trophy fish, to be perfectly honest. Uh, so here we go, trophy-wise. We've gotten quite a few different fish here. Um, we got a trophy black carpy. It's like the first one you get. Uh, and that'll instantly give you some gold. Uh, but as you're playing, you'll get like a bunch of other stuff. Uh, you'll notice you, there's also achievements in this game. So it's really, really cool to get um, to get these. And some of them actually pay out more than just experience. Some of them actually pay out in gold. Matter of fact, uh, where is it? Basque Guru, no. Some of, I know I saw one that paid out in gold. I just can't remember what it is right now. Top of my head, sorry. Or I think I may have already gotten it. Good possibility. No. All right. But, ah, there you go. Spend 25 gold coins in one day, get 10. Yeah, all right. That's what that was. All right, but... Yeah, there's lots of ways you can earn stuff here. You get to see your trophies, see the biggest one you've caught. Like, uh, I got a 3.5 ounce Northern Pike, which at the time I could not carry, so I had to throw it back. That sucked. Uh, Largemouth bass, biggest one I ever caught was uh, 2 pounds, uh, 27 or 237. It's actually one of the bigger ones I've seen caught on that lake, too. Probably isn't the biggest, but you get the idea. There's also these little smaller fish that are referred to as panfish, uh, mostly bluegills and crappies. Um, so yeah. So again, the game, a lot of fun. Highly recommend you check it out. Uh, and it's a good time killer, you know? It really is. So anyway, this is Jim saying, uh, if you like fishing, check out Fishing Planet. We will have more Hearthstone content coming up here soon and probably a couple other games. Till next time. Jim saying stay safe, have fun, and you know what? Good luck on your angling. Peace.